wait. Ma what Putain, mais la route elle n'existe plus Que merde de GPS de merde Putain, mais GPS de merde I left the Lower Zambezi area and the plan is to drive through Lusaka, the capital of Zambia, to finally enter the eastern part of the country and to reach the South Luangwa National Park. Although the road conditions are far from ideal, the government of Zambia introduced road tooling to improve funding towards road maintenance. Hello, sir. Oh, wait. My what? Your receipt. You want to pay at the border? Ah, yeah, 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 definitely. Sorry. And as a foreigner driving a foreign vehicle, I first need to show a special authority paper they gave me when I crossed the border. But I didn't know about it, so I had to get my red folder in the box right underneath all the other boxes. Thank you. Yeah, wait, <laughs> please. My new uh, boyfriend. So I've got two chip magnets. Oh, the washing machine and the parrot. Oh my gosh, <laughs> don't tell me. You are so cute. Hey, you are so cute. It's so calm. No, she can be different. If she starts screaming, you all, your ear will be there. Uh, not so full of that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cool one. Sit down, she will get bored very quickly. Okay, and she when she's bored, she's like... <laughs> the story of my life. Editing a video in the tent. <laughs> yes. On a Saturday night. Yes, yes, yes. This is my new life. I just spent a couple of days in Lusaka. The camping I was staying at is quite famous for overlanders crossing Africa. You have to drive through Lusaka to cross the country anyway. It's strategic, but also helpful, since they have a few washing machines and it was time to wash my beddings. Thank you! And now, I'm sure you guess it already, but I need to buy enough fresh fruits and veggies for the coming week. And nothing better than stopping by my African ladies on the road. Lusaka is a big capital with everything you need. Huge supermarkets, big malls, specialized shops, everything. But for my veggies and my fruits, I need my ladies. They look always surprised when they see a Mzungu like me here, stopping on the road. Honestly, I'm not sure if they have a lot of Mzungu buying from them. Anyway, I love it. campsite 
I just left. I met with the Italians again, remember? And they gave me this, you know, shirt um, with their logo and everything. And uh, I also met a French couple, very, very nice. And the lady, she made some crepes for me. Yeah, this is so nice. Oh, putain. Look at that. Oh. Now, I need to cross Lusaka and my GPS indicates one and a half hours. Yep, it's going to take some time. I told you, Lusaka is huge. Sérieux, mon GPS. Il est sérieux. Alors, pas mais sérieux. Davvero. And for the thousand times since the beginning of this adventure, my GPS is drunk. Davvero. I can already sense what's going to happen. This is not the road. But let's keep driving to confirm it. I sometimes hate my GPS. Il est sérieux. Non mais GPS de merde. Ah <rire> Thank you Putain mais la route elle n'existe plus Que merde de GPS de merde Putain mais GPS de merde quoi Sorry for the bad language, but I need to express myself. <laughs> and I feel that I'm bothering everybody working around in this tiny little street of the capital. I don't like to bother people. Voilà. It's not my life. Anyway, let's reverse and catch the right road now. Lusaka is big and Lusaka is busy, very busy. People stop you constantly and if you're not paying attention, they overtake your car and you have to wait even more. Oh, hello you! Very weird to see the Eiffel Tower here. I don't miss it at all. The distance between the South Longua National Park and Lusaka is more than 500 kilometers. And the road is going to be hectic, steep, busy, full of small villages and portals and hilly. I won't make it in one stretch and I don't want to do it anyway. I'm going to stop halfway around the village of Simengoa by the Luangwa River. 
This is going to take three hours minimum, and it's already midday. So I had to renew everything. No. <laughs> Sorry, bottle. And um, so I did, and it took me so much time to find an ATM to withdraw money. Like I did maybe like 16, I swear, like, I don't know, like, hey, sorry, I lost you. I, I did many ATMs and um, yeah, they didn't have money. So yeah, I, after two hours, I could find an ATM in a mall and uh, I could withdraw the money I needed. And, uh, and yeah, so I'm still waiting for my visa, my extended visa to be confirmed. It should be okay, but um, yeah, we never know. So let's see, maybe at the end of the, this video, we will know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to drive at night again because uh, it was such a nightmare to cross Lusaka. It took me an hour and a half. So yeah, very intense day, very intense day, but I can't wait to be with the animals and uh, I still need the bush, damn. <laughs> Yeah, I still need the bush, I need the animals. Oh, okay, so now I really need to be careful. There's so many bottles on the road. 